I wouldn't call this picture an outright swing and a miss, it's more like a sacrifice fly. Released on February 5th, 2016, this period comedy film about the trials and tribulations of a classic Hollywood film studio in the 1950s was produced on a budget of $22 million. Written, produced, and directed by Joel and Ethan Cohen, the prolific duo have once again penned a brilliantly quirky and unique script, which the all-star cast absolutely revel in delivering. Josh Brolin stars as the studio's fixer, a man who solves problems and gets results. The 106-minute narrative follows a particularly busy day in his operation when George Clooney, playing a ditzy big-shot actor, is kidnapped by communists for a $100,000 ransom. Elsewhere, Alden Enerich portrays a country western actor who was thrust into a serious drama with hilarious results. Say your line exactly as I'm about to, just as I'm about to do. Sure, okay. Would that it were so simple? 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 My dear boy, why do you say that? Why do you say it were? Well, you should say it like I said. Yes. Would that it were so simple? Would that it were so simple? Would that it were so simple? Would that it would that it were so simple? Watch my mouth. Would that it were so simple? Would that it were so simple? Keep your head still. Would that it were so simple? Would that it were so simple? Would that it were so simple? I'm trying to say that, Mr. Lawrence. Lawrence. Hmm. Ray Fiennes, Jonah Hill, Scarlett Johansson, Francis McDormand, Tilda Swinton, Alison Pill, and Channing Tatum are all marvelous as colorful supporting characters, but their appearances amount to little more than an extended cameo, as none appear in more than two scenes. I was left wanting to see more of their performances, which would have been better suited for a serialized television show with an ensemble cast. Come to think of it, how has there never been a TV show about running a movie studio? Seems like a great idea. The PG-13 rated film features several authentic recreations of Hollywood's golden age, like Johansson's beautifully choreographed water dancing, or Tatum's song and dance number that is an outright homage to the classic Gene Kelly musicals of that era. Meanwhile, the titular film within the film is an obvious nod to the Charlton Heston masterpiece Ben-Hur, which comes with all the trappings of that historical epic. The screenplay seems poised to make some apt witticisms or satirical observations, but sadly remains steadfast to its source inspiration's seriousness. With a different treatment, Hail Caesar could have been a fantastic parody of old Hollywood, rather than a hodgepodge of weird characters and events. Things are constantly happening, and they're perfectly amusing, but there's just no tension or drama anywhere to be found. Indeed, the lack of intersection from the half-dozen moving parts leaves this film feeling extremely disconnected, without a solid through-line to properly support the narrative. The careful editing allows every joke and downbeat to land with precision, however. One of the standout scenes has Brolin securing permission and feedback from a group of religious leaders over his movie's use of Jesus as a background character. The bickering and arguing, especially from Star Trek alum Robert Picardo, is especially funny. Perpetual Oscar runner-up Roger Deakins photographs these sequences with vivid detail and bright compositions, and continues to illustrate why he's my favorite cinematographer working today. Shallow and unapologetic, fans of the Coen brothers will still enjoy this picture, but they should wait for this one on home media. Hail Caesar may be sharply written and wonderfully acted, but it's ultimately pointless. I thought it was just alright. Unfortunately, that does it for this quick excerpt, but if you'd like to watch full episodes of Movie Night and submit your own reviews to be included on the show, please visit the Jogwheel YouTube channel. My name is Jonathan Paula, thanks for watching, and have a good movie night. Yeah.